example number five, we have a squared plus a minus three in brackets, all squared, and that's equal to 2a plus 3 in brackets, a minus 2 in brackets. Like before, in order to solve for a, the first thing we need to do is remove the brackets. We have two brackets sitting beside each other on this side. That means the brackets are multiplying each other. On this side, it's slightly more complicated. We have a minus 3 in brackets, all squared. Now, if you try to think back to what something squared means, that means you're going to multiply it by itself. And that's how we're going to proceed here. So the first thing we have is our a squared from the beginning. Then we have a minus 3 in brackets, multiplying itself. A minus 3 again. And the right hand side, we're going to leave it as it is for the moment. And on the next line. Next thing we're going to do is look at the brackets. As we said before, the brackets are sitting beside each other. That means they are multiplying each other. That means everything in bracket 1 needs to multiply everything in bracket 2. We'll put our a squared down to begin with from the beginning. Okay, so the first thing in bracket 1 is a. So a has to multiply bracket 2 first of all. So we have a times bracket 2. And then the next thing in bracket 1 was minus 3. So minus 3 has to multiply bracket 2 as well. Similar thing happens in this side. The first thing in bracket 1 is 2a. So it has to multiply bracket 2. And then the next thing in bracket 1 is plus 3. So it has to multiply bracket 2 as well. Next thing we can do is start to multiply the brackets. So first of all, we'll put our a squared down again. Then we have a times a, which is a squared. a times minus 3, which is minus 3a. Minus 3 times a, which is minus 3a. And then minus 3 times minus 3, that gives us a positive answer. These are 9. 2a times a is 2a squared. 2a times minus 2 is minus 4a. 3 times a is 3a. And then 3 times minus 2 is minus 6. What we can do now is start to simplify things before we move on. So looking for our like terms, we have a squared plus a squared, 2a squared, and minus 3a minus 3a, which is minus 6a. And finally our plus 9 on this side. On the other side, we have First of all, 2a squared, nothing to combine with that. Then we have minus 4a plus 3a, which is minus a. And finally, the minus 6 on the end. Now, what we can do, first of all, is cancel out the 2a squared with the 2a squared on this side. If we were to move the 2a squared onto the other side, it would simply subtract from this one and it would disappear. So we can cancel them out before we have to move them. Next thing we're going to do is look for things that need to move. So letters to the left, numbers to the right. First thing that needs to move is plus 9. And 
and on the other side we have minus a going to move. Writing down the things that are staying where they are, so we have minus 6a on this side, and we have minus 6 on the other side. First thing moving is plus 9. Change side, change sign, it becomes minus 9. Minus a changes over and becomes plus a. Minus 6a add a is minus 5a and minus 6 minus 9 is minus 15. At this point we have minus 5a equals minus 15. We can get rid of the minus signs by multiplying through by minus 1. That gives us 5a equals 15. That means a equals 15 divided by 5. 15 divided by 5 and a equals 3. And that's our final answer.